Welcome to making a latte with the AeroPress by DoesItWork.net. All right, here is the AeroPress box with a whole bunch of uh, testimonials on there. It's time to find out if it's uh, as good as they make it seem. Going to unpack the box, and the first piece coming out actually is two pieces. It's a stirrer, and it's a coffee scoop. Uh, now we got a funnel for water and coffee, and we'll see how these are all used in a bit. Uh, this is the chamber and the plunger currently um, together. I'm going to pull them apart so you can see them um, separately. Plunger on the left, chamber on the right. As you can see, it's a pretty tight seal, which is uh, kind of essential for the mechanism. That's just a holder for the filters, uh, really not necessary. And the left is where you're going to put the filter uh, during the process. Um, a whole bunch of filters, I think something like 300 of them. Um, the company that makes this Aerobi actually says you can reuse the filters. Um, you just need to clean them off a little bit. Um, you don't really need to do that. They're pretty inexpensive. You can buy replacements for about three bucks uh, for another pack like that. All right, we're going to add the water to um, the plunger, which doubles as a measuring device for the water. I'm going to make a double latte, so I'm going to fill it to the number two because I want two shots of espresso to come out. There we go. Uh, just a normal mug. Pour the water in there. Uh, that's what we're going to heat in the microwave a bit later. Uh, now we're going to take a filter off. These are very thin, um, nice and crisp. Put that in the filter holder. And now we're going to screw this into the chamber, or onto the chamber. I like to do it nice and tight, but you don't have to do it nearly that tight. This, this whole process doesn't really require any real strength, um, so you can rest, rest easy on that angle. I'm using a glass, but um, that's just so you can see the coffee dripping out. Normally I would just use um, whatever I'm going to be drinking out of. Um, so you take one scoop of coffee per shot of espresso, and you can either get a scoop of ground coffee or a scoop of um, whole bean coffee. Um, I like to use whole bean and grind right before I make it. Um, I think it tastes a lot better that way. So we're about to grind it up, and you'll see um, I use a hand crank grinder. It's going to take quite a while. Um, I sped up the footage, but I use a hand crank because um, it avoids heating up the beans, um, which preserves the flavor quite a bit more. It's really a, a very noticeable difference, even if you're not, um, even if you're not a coffee connoisseur. Not that I would claim to be one myself. So there's the ground coffee. You want to grind it a little bit more coarsely than you would for espresso. Um, but if you know you just buy in the store, whatever you get in the store is fine. Uh, I wanted to make a note that what you're going to get out of this is espresso and not um, normal coffee. Normal coffee being cafe americano. Um, if you want a normal cup of coffee, you can use the AeroPress as well. Um, what you're going to do afterwards then is add hot water to taste. But this is going to end up giving us two shots of espresso, which we can use to make in a latte. So time to heat up the water. Um, you're going to want to heat it to about 180, 185 degrees. I know about how long that takes in my microwave, so we'll let it go. All right, time to get this going. Pour the water in. And it's going to start to drip out a little bit. Now we're going to stir it for 10 seconds, nice and fast, get it all swirling together in there. This is going to infuse the coffee into the water. Now we're going to take the plunger and just push it down nice and slowly and evenly as you can see the coffee dripping through on the bottom there. 
this all takes place, place under a nice, nice high pressure environment, um, but really the pressing itself can be done quite gently, surprisingly enough. Okay, so we have two shots of espresso in there now. I like to get every little drop out um, just because I want as much caffeine as possible, but um, you don't have to do that second little push at the end. So now I'm going to, you know, normally I would just keep making the coffee so it doesn't start going bad, but I'm going to show you um, what happens to the, the coffee in there after you press it. It's quite interesting. You end up with this little um, cake of coffee there. It's like a whole piece there. It's like a puck. Um, it almost looks good enough to eat. Um, so now if you wanted to drink that straight, you could. I'm going to um, get a little milk and um, heat it up and then froth it up. I'm actually going to use another little device that you might be interested in. Um, it's called an Aero Latte, and it's a battery-powered um, milk frother. Um, we'll see that in just a second. There we go. There's the air latte. It just takes a double A battery. Does a really nice job of foaming it up. I think it's like 15 bucks. You can check uh, doesitwork.net for a link on where to find one. All right, uh, there's the latte. Um, looks pretty good. And I can safely say um, after a while using the AeroPress that it makes a really great cup of espresso. Highly recommended.